Virgos, come on in the building, Virgos. Come in the building. <laughs> All right, Virgos, let's see. What messages do you have for Virgos for December 15th through the 31st? This popped out. We have stay optimistic about your love life, okay? So positive thinking and faith will bring you romance, all right? So stay optimistic. Some of you guys are staying optimistic in regards to love, all right? What messages do we have for Virgos? What messages do we have for Virgos? Sun, moon, and rising Virgos, okay? December 15th through the 31st. Bottom of the deck, guys, we have honeymoon, okay? So maybe some of you guys are feeling like you're in a honeymoon phase, all right? So enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. You guys are possibly spending lots and lots of time together, okay? So let's see. Okay. All right, Virgos. What additional messages? Please give me clarifies for Virgos. Please give me clarifies for Virgos. December 15th through 31st. Please give me clarifies, Virgos. All right. Bottom of the deck, guys, we have the hanged man. Okay, so this is the card of Pisces, but this also talks about delays, things being on hold, okay? So maybe this is something like you, you can't wait. You can't wait on something. You don't want to wait. Okay, so there's something exciting. I'm seeing something like a thrill, something exciting here. All right, let's see. Ooh. Okay, <laughs> Virgos. Oh, <laughs> Virgo, <laughs> you guys. The first card we have, guys, is worth waiting for. I feel like you have, in the past, you waited a long time before you took this risk. Before you took this this leap of faith, you possibly waited. Okay, there. It was like a very thought out uh process okay there was i feel like there was a, a period of waiting before you leap okay present energy there is lots of fire and passion love making going on here mm. We got passion. We have the lover's card and the nine of cups. So this is your desires. This is what you want. This is your desires. You're getting what you desire, okay? And you want some passion right now. And I feel like you're getting it. I feel like there's something that you could possibly be holding on from the past. There could possibly be regrets that you're trying to get over. But I feel like you're getting your desires here. You're getting what you want. And I feel like coming into the near future, we have forgiving and learning. So I feel like there is a lot of, I feel like there's a lot that needs to be forgiven and a lot that needs to be let go of here with this 10 of wands. Okay. I feel like you could be uh, wanting to put in a work, but you, a lot of put in work, but you feel like it's going to take a lot. Okay. Maybe there is a sense of codependency here. I'm sensing codependency or um, possessiveness or there could be a lot of negative energy that you have to let go of in order for this situation to work. OK, there could like I said, there could be some forgiveness. Someone needs to forgive, heal, learn the lesson and move forward from. OK. Look at y'all being nasty. <laughs> Okay. Please give me.
give me additional messages for Virgos. What messages do you have for Virgos from December 15th through the 31st? December 15th through the 31st. All right, guys, bottom of the deck, we have the king of wands, fire energy, lots and lots of passion here. Okay, um, Leo, Aries, what's the other fire sign? Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius, okay? Yeah, happiness, there's lots of passion here, lots of happiness, fulfillment, okay? And you're trying to keep it. Mm -hmm. You're trying to hold on. You're trying to keep it. You're trying to, you don't want to disappoint either your family. Maybe you are building um, and working towards building some type of stability. But I definitely sense that you guys are clinging on to something for dear life, not letting it go. Okay. Maybe um, you don't want to disappoint your family because we have the four of wands, Paired up here with the Ace of Swords. So this is like family finding out the truth or um, this is also as well as the marriage card as well. But I feel like this is a, this is stability and um, maybe you are trying to hold on to this something that is providing you stability. And you you aren't up for disappointment. You do not want to disappoint, okay? I feel like some of you guys in the past were thinking about walking away. Here with this King of Swords and this Eight of Cups. This King of Swords energy is very cutthroat. It's very blunt, okay? And I feel like some of you guys could have possibly been thinking about walking away from a situation, but I do feel like, oh, somebody is definitely, you definitely want to speak your truth or there is some spying going on. This is in the desires. It's the page of swords as well as the queen of swords. So it's like, I'm sensing like, um, maybe there is a, a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius involved and you're speaking your truth to them or they're speaking their truth to you. But those two cards together is definitely blunt. I'm going to say what I need to say and I'm going and I don't care how you feel. I'm going to say it regardless of how you feel. I'm going to speak how I feel. We're going into that in the future, guys. We have the Hermit card, which is the card of Virgo paired up here with this Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio's energy. So I'm sensing like could as well be doing some soul searching. Even though this is Virgo's card, this Hermit card does talk about um, being alone, isolating yourself and going within. Or this could be definitely two different types of energies, which is Virgo as well as the Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. It's something that I feel like you guys are keeping away from. I'm, I'm just sensing like there could be. I'm going to have to clarify this for pentacles. Okay. Some of you guys were wanting to leave with friends or we got the three of cups here with this eight of cups. So this is like leaving. Was thinking about walking away um, or going out with some friends or partying or socializing. I feel like there could definitely be some, some things that are going to be manifested, um, manifested into in this near future here with this magician card, but you are waiting to speak your mind. Yeah. I feel like you want to speak your mind to either, um, I'm getting Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. I'm also getting Virgo energy as well as Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But I do feel like going into this near future, I feel like there is possibly something that is going to be manifested into the near future. I feel like you don't want, let me see, why is this four pentacles here? Four of Pentacles. Well, that's the Four of Pentacles here. Yeah. 
Four of Pentacles. Some of you guys, there is a Pisces involved. But it's something about here. I feel like you have a hunch about something. Like your intuition is telling you something. Why is the high priestess here? Or this. Oh, okay. Some of you guys are keeping a secret from your family. Because you don't want them to be disappointed. I'm going to clarify the Four of Cups. I'm sensing, yeah, you're trying to avoid a disaster here. And I feel like some of you guys are keeping something a secret. But it's like you want to tell it so bad. You want to speak your truth. You want to just like... You know what? You want to so bad. It's here, right here in the desires. But I feel like someone is, may, there may be some conflict coming into the near future, okay? Someone has manifested some type of trouble or conflict. Why is the five of wands here? Hmm. Maybe this is competition. Maybe this isn't conflict. Maybe this is competition manifesting some type of comp some type of comp. I'm sorry, I can't even get the word out. Making someone feel like they have to compete for someone's happiness. Why is the ten of cups here? Or someone could be, I'm sensing like making somebody miserable too. Why is the Ten of Cups here? Yep. Tell you, it's like something is, is making, the way I'm looking at it is making someone, making conflict or making the situation worse is what I'm getting. So maybe feeling like if you say it, then may, if you say what it is that you saw or heard or want to say will only make the situation worse. Maybe you're trying to keep this situation on the low from your family because you don't want to disappoint anyone. You don't really want to um, I'm just sensing like disappoint anyone. But I'm definitely sensing that there is definitely some truth. Um, there is something hidden here. That is like being kept a secret. Hmm. All right. So let's do a past, present, and future energy for Virgos here. What messages do you have for Virgos? Past, present, future energy. This is for December 15th through the 31st, okay? Past, present, future energy. The magician, again, all right? So it's like um, manifesting something. Maybe some of you guys are trying to build something or make a partnership. Make Some of you guys could be trying to manifest a business here with this three of pentacles. You're trying to make something balance or balance something out, okay? You're trying to make something work. I really was not supposed to pull all of these cards like this. I don't know why, but I'm going to pull them because I just said past, present, and future, and... I just kept going, but I do feel like I definitely feel as if you're you're definitely wanting to have control over the situation. There could be an Aries involved, but some you're wanting to control this relationship. I'm sensing like keeping a mother out of it. 
here with this empress card or keeping a baby mother out of this with this four of pentacles in this it's like i'm just sensing like i'm just sensing keeping someone out of it you you feel like this is my relationship you stay out of it i'm sensing that Your intuition is something here about your intuition. Okay, so it's like your intuition uh, is telling you that this situation could be kind of hasty or moving really quickly. It could really involve family or marriage or home life instability. You're not sure if you want to take this risk. You feel like if you take it, you don't know if you're going to regret something here. A decision but i do feel like there is going to be going into the near future we have the two of pentacles which talks about juggling something multitasking um something happening over and over again there's like a constant i feel like something is definitely coming to an end something is definitely coming to an end here we have the death card as well as the ten of swords clarifying each other so it's like something is not going to continue going into the near future. Why is the death card here? Someone is possibly... Let's see. I want to clarify this. Some sensing like someone feeling like someone can't leave. <laughs> and that's what I'm, I mean. I just call it like I see it. And with this two of pentacles and this ten of swords, it's like constant betrayal or something continuing to um, end. But I'm sensing like ending and walking away from a situation because we have this ten of swords death card as well as the eight of pentacles and it says i'm kind of sensing like not caring as well something is a continuing i want to see why there's two of pentacles here maybe you feel like someone keeps stabbing you in the back Two of Pentacles. Why is the Two of Pentacles here? Feel like you don't want to say something or do something you'll regret. But someone is controlling here. Someone is at one can full control. Why is the Two of Pentacles here? Yeah, I'm sensing like keep putting someone out. Or there is constant financial issues, okay? Um, with this two of pentacles and this five of pentacles, this is like constant issues in regards to rejection or someone is constantly rejecting someone and someone finally decides to end that and walk away from the situation. Or there is possibly trying to juggle and balance out your finances, okay? Maybe feeling like no, you aren't you aren't gonna leave until we get this figured out, until we find make find a balance to this. But I'm definitely sensing someone is definitely very controlling. Why is the emperor card here? Someone is definitely hoping to have control here. We got the King of Pentacles here at the bottom of the deck. And someone is definitely hoping um, to have control. And this is you feeling like you want control over this relationship. Clarify the Ten of Cups. Maybe you're feeling like you're their woman. You know, I'm the woman. So I want to have control over this or... I want to have control over that. 
But I'm sensing like either that's the case or there's something that is involving a mother or a baby mother or a mother-in-law or someone that carries motherly energy. It's something that you saw, like maybe you saw something on TV or something that you watched or something that somebody said. And I feel like some of you guys are trying to keep up that image of something that what you saw or something that what you heard. And you're hoping to have that type of control over in your relationship. I feel like you you don't want you're not sure if you can if you can take that risk because you don't want to regret something. But I, I do feel like I'm sensing like something in something ending and and someone walking away from a situation. OK, so it's like constant rejecting. So maybe someone is constantly like rejecting that, you know, like, no, you're not going to have any control. So be careful with that. OK. All right, guys, you guys got a little extra out of me. I don't know why I continue to pull the cards like that. I was really just supposed to do a past, present, future. But you guys got the works all right if you would like to book a personal reading with the empress make sure that you hit that description box below i'll leave that information in that box okay so ciao for now guys <laughs>